Welcome to this Math Made Easy video on polynomials. To start with, let's take a look at expanding brackets. Now there's different types of brackets that you need to be able to expand. And for each, you need to use the file method that you will have already seen at GCSE Maths. So here are some examples. So we start with a case here of single brackets. So let's say we've got a times x plus y plus z. Well, here what we do is we take the a on the outside and we multiply it by each term inside the bracket. So the first term here is going to be a times x will give us ax. And then we do a times y and we add this on. So that's going to give us a times y giving us plus a y. And we add that with the ax. And finally, we just repeat this now with the a and the z here. Multiplying these together just gives us plus az there. Okay. So that's what we get there in the case of single brackets. Now, what about when we've got double brackets here? So let's say we've got a plus b, and we multiply this by, say, x plus y. Okay. Well, here in this case, we now use file. So remember, file tells us the order of multiplication here. So the f represents the first two terms being multiplied together. So the first two terms here represent the a and the x here. So multiplying those together, we do a times x, and that would give us ax there. Okay, so that's our first term. What we're going to do now, if we just use a different pen color to highlight this, we move to the o in file. That tells us the outside terms are multiplied together. So that means we multiply the a here and the y. And that will give us plus a y. Moving on to the i now in the file. That means we multiply the inside terms together. So that represents the two closest here. So that's going to be b times by x there. So that's going to be plus bx. And finally here, we move to the L in file, and that tells us we multiply the last two terms here. So that's going to be B times by Y. Okay, and that just gives us plus PY at the end there. Okay, so that's in the case there of double brackets. Now what about when we have squared brackets here? So let's just say we've got, for example, A plus B squared. Or A plus B squared, well remember that simply means we do A plus B, and we times it by a plus b. And from here then, this is just a simple application of double brackets. So using file here, we're just going to get a result similar to this, just obviously with these brackets. So in this case, what we'd get here is a squared plus ab plus ab again plus b squared. And if we simplify that here, that simply gives us a squared. As we've got two lots of ab, we just simply have 2ab, and finally, plus b squared there. Okay. Now, the difference of two squares here is a special type. So let's say we've got a plus b, and we times that by a minus b here. Okay. Well, in this case here, again, this is just an application of file. So doing the first two terms together here will give us a squared. Doing the outside terms now, we get minus AB, minus AB. Doing the inside terms, we do B times A, which would be plus AB. And finally here, multiplying the last two terms together for the L in file, that gives us B times minus B, giving us minus B squared. And we can simplify this here. Notice this is a minus AB plus AB, so they cancel there to give us A squared minus B squared. Okay, so that represents the difference of two squares. And finally here, we move on to the case where we have longer brackets. So what we'll do here is we'll just clear everything on the screen just so we've got enough room here because this is quite a lengthy example. So let's take a look at the case now for longer brackets. So let's say we've got here a plus b plus c multiplied by w plus x plus y plus z. Well, in this case here, what we simply do is we take each term from this first bracket, so let's just say the a, and we times it by everything in this second bracket here. So to start with, that would give us a lots of w plus x plus y plus z. And what we do then is we move on to the second term here. So that's going to be plus b. And we times it again by everything in this second bracket here. So that's going to be plus b, w plus x plus y 
plus z. And finally here, we do this now with the final term here of this plus c. So that's giving us plus c here, and again w plus x plus y and plus z there. Okay. And to finish that then, we just simply multiply out multiply out each bracket in the same way as we would for sim for single brackets there. Okay. So that gives us everything we need there for expanding brackets. Moving on now to take a look at simplifying expressions. Now a number, bracket, or variable that is in each term of an expression is what we call a common factor. And we can take common factors outside a bracket. So if we take a look at this example here, all we want to do is simplify this expression here. Now what we can do here is just go along and identify common factors. Now what I can notice here straight away is x is in each term of the expression. And in that case, we can take this out as a common factor. So I've got an x here, we've got an x squared here, so that means we can take out at least an x, and we've got this x here. Okay, So in that case, we can take an x out as our common factor. That's going to give us x. We're going to use a square bracket here. So in that case, that's going to give us x plus 2 times x minus 3. We've already took the x out, so that's x plus 2 times x minus 3 there. Okay, We've got x squared times x plus 2 here. So in that case, we're just simply going to get a plus x, lots of x plus 2 there. Because if we multiplied this expression here with x, we get x squared times x plus 2. So we know that's correct. And then here we've got minus x times x plus 2. So that just simply means that's going to be minus x plus 2 there. Okay. And then we close our square bracket here. Now here, what we actually want to do is simplify this fully. So in that case, what we do now is we scan along here again for our expression, and we try to identify any common factors again. And I notice straight away we've got an x plus 2 here, we've got an x plus 2 here, and an x plus 2 here. So therefore, we can take an x plus 2 out as a common factor. And we'd write that here as x times x plus 2. And again, we just use square brackets. So in that case, what we get here is an x minus 3 at the front, so that's x minus 3. We're going to get a plus x here. This is plus x. And then finally, this would be a minus 1 here. Okay. So, all I want to do now is simplify this square bracket. Well, x plus x gives us 2x, and minus 3 minus 1 gives us minus 4 there. So, in total, what we get here to simplify this original expression is x times x plus 2, and then finally 2x minus 4 there. Okay, so that gives us our solution there to that example and gives us everything we need for simplifying expressions. Let's move on here to take a look at this factorising tip. So for a quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, we can use the following tips to help us factorise. So when b and c are positive, both brackets will contain a plus. So that's for b and c both being positive. Okay. So in that case, both brackets will contain a plus sign. Now, when b is negative and c is positive, so b is negative and c is positive, In this case here, what we know is both brackets will contain a minus. So when b is negative and c is positive, both brackets will contain a minus. And finally here, when c is negative, one bracket will contain a plus and the other will contain a minus. So when c is negative, then one bracket will contain a plus like we said, the other bracket will contain a minus there. So that gives us everything we need there for our factorising tip. Moving on now to factorising quadratics, where a equals 1. Well, factorising quadratics of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, when a equals 1, is quite straightforward. So in this example here, we're asked to factorise the following quadratic, x squared minus 7x plus 12. Now, as this is x squared here at the front, we know the beginning of each bracket will contain an x. So I've got an x at the front of this one. 
I want to have an X at the front of that one. Now, what we think about here, and what we can actually see is B is negative and C is positive. So both numbers in the brackets will need to be negative. Okay. And what we need to do here now is find two numbers which multiply to give us 12. So times to give us 12, but we'll add or subtract to give us minus 7 here. Okay. And like we said, we know both numbers will be negative. So in that case, what we can see here is minus 3 times minus 4 will give us plus 12. So it gives positive 12 there. And minus 3 plus minus 4 will give us the required minus 7 there. So that means we know those two numbers are correct. So we just insert those into our brackets. We've got x minus 3 and x minus 4 there. Okay. And that gives us the solution there to our example, factorising quadratics, where a equals 1. And finally, let's take a look now at factorising quadratics, where a is larger than 1. Now, it becomes a little trickier when factorising quadratics of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, when a is larger than 1. So let's take a look at this example here. Now, we notice a straight away is larger than 1. We've got 4 here. Now, this makes it more complicated because it's not immediately obvious what the coefficient of each x term should be. And what we've got here is two possible options. We've either got 4x at the front of one of my brackets, or we've got an x at the front of the other bracket, or what we've got here is 2x at the front of both brackets. So 2x here, and a 2x here. Okay. Those are the two possible options to start with. Now what we notice here is c is negative. So one bracket will contain a plus, and the other a minus. So there's two options to place the plus and minus for the brackets containing 4x and x, and one option for the brackets containing 2x, since putting the symbols the other way around would give the same result. So what we've got here, I've got 4x plus in one bracket and x minus in the other bracket, or I've got 4x minus and x plus in the other bracket, and finally, I've got 2x plus in one bracket and then 2x minus here. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to find two numbers which multiply to make minus 3. So in that case here, what we've got is either minus 3 times 1, that would give us minus 3, or we've got minus 1 times 3, which would also give us minus 3. So now what we need to do is find a combination which, when added or subtracted, gives minus 11x. So here we can try the following six possibilities. So we've got 4x plus 1. Um, so let's see if we can do this without... So what I'm going to do is just clear this, just so we've got enough room to take a look at our final six options here. So what we've got here is 4x plus 1 times x minus 3. So here, what that would give us when we expand this and simplify is 4x squared minus 11x minus 3. We could have 4x plus 3 times x minus 1. That would give us 4x squared minus x minus 3. We could do 4x minus 3 times x plus 1. That would give us here 4x squared plus x minus 3. We could do 4x minus 1 times x plus 3. What that would give us here is 4x squared. That would give us 4x squared plus 11x minus 3. We could do 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 3, and again this would give us 4x squared minus 4x minus 3, and finally we've got 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 1, and that would give us 4x squared plus 4x minus 3. Now here clearly we didn't need to highlight these five options here. And the reason for that is because we found the correct solution on the first go here. Notice this gives us 4x squared minus 11x minus 3, which matches exactly to our original quadratic here. So in that case, 
Once we found those two brackets here, which when expanded and simplified, gave us the original quadratic, we had factorized it there. Okay, So therefore in that case, 4x plus 1 times x minus 3 there. Okay, That gives us the correct expansion. And in that case, that's our solution there to that example. So that gives us everything we need there for factorizing quadratics when a is larger than 1. And that concludes this Maths Made Easy video on polynomials.